Hello, everyone. Welcome back. In this, this is Hua Zheng, and in this section, I'm going to cover ethical consideration for of exploration. Ethical consideration is an important topic and received a lot of attention by the machine learning community. Many researchers have many researchers have studied how to uh, how to consider or reflect the ethical concerns in offline machine learning methods. And in this tutorial, we will cover the recent advances in ethical considerations of exploration strategies, which include three main topics. The first topic is the privacy concerns in bandits. We will cover the notion of differential privacy and how to design differentially private versions of stochastic and linear bandits. We will also discuss the recent advances in using the local differential privacy notions in bandits. The second topic we will cover is fairness concerns in bandits learning. Here we will adopt the notion of weekly meritocratic fairness and present a work called FAIR UCB under this notion. There, are, there is also another line of research regarding safety concerns in bandits. That is how to design exploration strategies under certain safety constraints. In this line of research, there are mainly two types of work, two types of works. The first type is where the constraints is over the regret. That is, the exploration strategies should not make the regret lower than a certain threshold, larger than a certain threshold. This is also known as the conservative exploration study. Another line is called, is studies how to design exploration strategies with other uh, side constraints. So we will not cover the details of safety concerns in bandits due to time limitations. And first, let's look at privacy concerns. So privacy concerns has been raised early, uh, early at least during 2006, where the, during the release of AOL search lock. So this is an article regarding a face is, expo is exposed for AOL searcher. And also in 2008, there is a work regarding how to break the anonymity of the Netflix price data sets. And privacy concerns is still a very important topic in today's machine learning community. So in bandit setting, we explicitly consider the privacy for the reward and the context under the extraction attack. The main philosophy is we need to design exploration strategy that reconciles both the need of learning and the need for privacy protection. So let's first, let's first take a look at the notion of differential privacy. So a randomized mechanism A is called epsilon delta differentially private. If for all the neighboring inputs satisfy this inequality. So what is the intuition behind this inequality? Intuition is the output by looking at the output, one cannot differentiate whether a data point is pre presented in the data set. And essentially the difference between the output 
should be at most epsilon. Since we are working with banded setting, here is some background regarding differential privacy for continual observations. In this problem setting, we are dealing with a data stream which has t examples, for example, rewards, ri, that belongs to the range 0 to 1. And the goal is to privately output the sum of first k, first k datas. The main strategy to design efficient strategy to release for the release is to aggregate the data by a tree representation to output a private statistics. So here's the detail of this so-called tree-based aggregation, which are designed, which are developed in 2010. So here is an example. How, suppose we now want to release the sum of reward from time one to time uh, time one to time seven. Based on uh, using a tree as a representation, what we can separate this sum into three different partial sums. Sum of reward from one to four reward from five to six and reward seven. So by a tree representation, we can separate the sum into at most log 2t partial sums. And in this tree, each node represents a partial sums over all its leaf, leaf nodes. And each node is also contains a uh, Laplace noise with the variance of log t over e to make this partial sum differentially private. Specifically, every node in this tree is a private partial sum that satisfies epsilon log t differentially private. And by composition theorem, the total sum uh, that's uh, that is composed of log t of these partial sums is essentially epsilon differentially private. And the noise or the error in this final private sum is bounded by log to the power of 1.5 t divided by epsilon. So the intuition is the larger of the time horizon t is, then the larger the noise is. And also, the smaller this epsilon or this differential privacy budget is, the larger the noise is. So now we are going to introduce how to design differentially private UCB1 algorithm based on this tree aggregation strategy. So here, the idea is we want to keep the average reward estimation our head private. And because differential, pri differential privacy has post-processing environment property, such that once we keep the average reward private, then the arm selection and finally the recommendation is private. So how to achieve a private average reward? We can use, pri we can use the tree-based aggregation strategy as noise to the sum of the reward. And not only we need to change the reward estimation part to get this private R hat, we also need to change the arm selection strategy that's adding an additional term in the order of log to the power of 1.5 NAT, where NAT is, uh, is the number of time uh, we have played the arm AT. So 
this term in red is the additional confidence term for exploration in private setting. Because in order to make the final result in private, we also need to consider a more relaxed exploration lens. And the final regret of this differentially private UCB1 algorithm is in the order of k log square t over epsilon delta, where delta is the gap between the best arm and the second best arm. And epsilon is the privacy budget. So comparing to the original non-private UCB1 algorithm, we see that first is the order is increased from the log t to the log square t. And also it's related to the privacy level epsilon. Now let's take a look at how to design differentially private linear CB algorithm. So the first algorithm is aims to protect the privacy only for the reward. So here, based on the, ridge, the closed form estimation of ridge regression for the UCB, the idea is to use the tree-based aggregation strategy, adding noise to the BT term, where this BT term is equals to the summation of reward R times the context X, and is the only place that the reward R plays a role. So after adding the noise to the BT, which will make the theta hat estimation being private, we can get the private reward estimation R hat. And we also need to relax the exploration term in this red term in the order of log one log to the power of 1.5 NAT times the log k over sigma divided by epsilon. So the goal of this additional term in red is similar as the term in the differentially private UCB1. That is, we need to relax the exploration term in order to make the arm selection strategy also differentially private. And the regret of private linear UCB is in this term, where the first term, k square root of t log t, is the original regret of non-private linear UCB. And this red term is the additional regret caused by the privacy protection for linear UCB. Note that this term is in the order of log to the power of 2.5 t and square root of times square root of t divided by epsilon. So there is also another work on designing private algorithm that can protect privacy for both context and reward in linear CB. So here, the idea is to use the tree-based aggregation to add noise to both AT and BT term, because BT, ha BT term has the reward and context X, and AT term has the context X. And now the confidence bound term has also be uh, also needs to be changed accordingly to make it differentially private and here is the corresponding re regret note that the regret presented here is a gap dependent bound so that's why it's in the order of log t more importantly this in in this paper Authors also showed a matched gap dependent lower bound, which means that if you if one wants to protect both the privacy for both context and reward, this is the optimum order of regret that one can achieve. 
So previously, we discussed the private algorithm under the notion of differential privacy, or also known as global differential privacy, where the, the pattern is like this. User sends data, for example, reward RI to the center, where the center is essentially our bandit algorithm. And the center adds noise to the, to the aggregated result. However, one may have the concerns that the data communication or even the center itself can be compromised and can, thus cannot be trusted. So here comes the notion, here motivates the development of notion of local differential privacy, where we want the data to be randomized on the user side before sent to the aggregator. So in this case, user will no longer send their ground truth, pri uh, truth reward RI. Instead, they, the user will first randomize the reward and then send it outside. So generally, L local differential privacy, or LDP in short, is a stronger privacy definition. Uh, and in this case, larger cost or larger regret is also expected. So, there, so this is a very recent work on UCB algorithm with local differential privacy. So here, the user, for, the user sends the noisy feedback, RT plus uh, Laplace noise, in, with variance one over epsilon to the server, and guarantees uh, epsilon local differential privacy on the user side. The ARM selection strategy needs also to be reconciled and relaxed in this term. So again, this is an additional confidence term for exploration in the privacy setting. And the regret is in the order of k log t divided by epsilon square times delta. So note that in all previous global differential privacy work, the, the dependency on the regret regarding to the privacy budget is usually one over epsilon. While here, in order to achieve local differential privacy, the regret is related to one over epsilon square, which is a larger uh, regret. So the second topic regarding the ethical concerns is the fairness consideration. So fairness consideration, fairness in machine learning con considers the machine bias and is also an important topic in, for machine learning communities. Research, is, uh, research focused on bias in either the data model algorithm, et cetera. For example, the discriminatory treatment of subpopulations. And the bias in these machine learning models actually also motivates the needs to do a more unbiased exploration for a machine learning system. Specifically, we, in this tutorial, we studied the fairness guarantee during the online decision-making problems, or essentially bandit setting. And we focus on the notion of weakly meritocratic fairness. So in this definition, we want an algorithm to pull uh, arm A uh, has a higher probability to pull arm A over the probability to pull arm B when the true reward of arm A is better than arm B. Intuitively, this means a bandit algorithm should never favor a worse arm at any round. So two examples here. First is the perfect strategy is actually fair. So when we say perfect strategy, it means that the, the algorithm will 
always with 100% probability to pull the best arm. However, this is not practical because we don't know which arm is perfect at the beginning before we start the exploration. The uniform strategy is uniformly random strategy is also fair. If we keep uniformly pull all the arms, then we have a fair algorithm, but the regret of this algorithm is linear. So the idea is, can we design an algorithm that achieves somewhere in between? And now we present this fair UCB algorithm. The idea is we want to still uniformly pull algorithms that are reasonably good. The reasonably good is defined by the first confidence interval chain. So how to find this confidence interval chain? So we start from the arm with the largest UCB and recursively finding the arms with overlapped confidence intervals. As an illustrated, as an illustrative example here, the arms that above this red threshold are uh, overlapped with each other in their confidence intervals and considers as the first confidence interval chain. So the algorithm will uniformly pull arms within this confidence intervals, but won't pick any arms that belows this threshold. So this can guarantee we achieve the fairness guarantee at every step with high probability while also maintaining a reasonably good utility guarantee because the arms within the first confidence interval chain should have reason reasonably good uh, reward. And the regret of the algorithm is in the order of square root of k cubic t log e t k over delta. So which is slightly worse than the uh, than the original version of the UC, uh, sorry original version of UCB one algorithm. So to summarize, here are some open questions that uh, one can explore in the ethical considerations for exploration. The first is the regret lower bound for bandit with privacy guarantee. So currently we are still unknown about what is the minimum noise and regret to achieve general epsilon differential privacy or epsilon local differential privacy for stochastic and uh, linear bandit problems. Another direction is how to calibrate the fairness and privacy with problem dependent structures. For example, can we reduce the noise needed in a collaborative bandits learning or in a low rank structure problem? And also how to do more efficient and design corresponding exploration strategy for a fair collaborative bandits or fair low rank bandit problem. The third direction is how to uh, is to consider other fairness definition for exploration. Here are the references to this section. Thank you.